welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday. Again, every time we land on Friday, I just, I have no idea how we end up here because the week just goes by so fast now that I'm not physically at work. But um, my mom has some physical therapy coming over to her house today to um, help her with her legs. Her legs have been very weak. If this is your first time watching, my mom has ALS and I am one of her caregivers. My sister and I um, split a lot of the work. <clears throat> so, what? Goofy. So I just got myself ready for the day. And now I'm gonna grab one of my mugs here and get some coffee. Oh, and Amelia is a princess today. Let me show you guys. Amelia, this entire quarantine, has every single day dressed in dresses, done her makeup, she's getting very good at it, and we did her hair today. Let's see, Mia. Wow. Oh, uh, there's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. What? And here's the puppers. weather here in upstate New York has been so crazy. Um, one day it could be nice, the next day it could be snowing. Today it's a little rainy and chilly outside. Uh, I just cannot wait for summer to be here. Sorry, my phone's in my armpit. Um, and I have been trying the past two days, ooh, two days, to be healthier. Um, I've just noticed that like, you know you can just feel it in your stomach when you've just eaten like straight crap for weeks and now it feels like that we've been on quarantine so I'm trying to reel it in. The snacks in our house seem to go really quickly and this, so that's how I know that like we're just eating straight junk so I'm trying to reel it in and be more conscious of what I'm putting in my body so that I have more energy and I'm less exhausted throughout the day. We are inside Mama Midge's house. She's just using the bathroom quick and then I'm gonna make her some breakfast. She wants some egg beaters with some salsa on top and a piece of gluten-free toast because she is gluten-free. Some updates on my mom for those of you that follow her journey. Um, she is definitely progressing, getting a little bit weaker. Um, she pretty much uses her scooter that she bought throughout the entire house to get anywhere at this point. She can only stand on her feet for two minutes or less, so enough to get her to the scooter basically or to her commode at night. Um, showers are becoming a little bit more difficult even with the shower setup that we have over here. Um, she can do everything herself, it's just when she's done with the shower, getting out of the shower into the scooter. I don't know if her legs just feel weak after that, but um, we're gonna have to kind of brainstorm and come up with a, a different solution for her. So we just make adjustments as always as we go. Um, you know, I think it's been a little bit hard with not having visitors over, not having as much interaction with people. I think that, you know, people that have ALS and are stuck in their own bodies basically and stuck in their own homes it's already difficult for them but especially during the self-quarantine with the coronavirus you can't have people come see you at all no visitors whatsoever i think that it can get a little bit depressing so we have good days we have bad days and we always try to keep her spirits up my sister and i she's overall doing the best that she can i would say um, but ALS is a progressive disease, so that that's always something that's going to happen with her. There's always going to be a new thing that we have to adjust. Um, but thank you to everyone that that's always um, asking and looking out for her, because we really appreciate it. So we're going to get her ready for the day. And um, yeah, I'm just um, glad I get to spend time with her. 
Also, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys in our last vlog that my mom's toaster had shit the bed. <laughs> so she was using mine for a while and she just ordered this new one off Target.com and it got delivered. And I'm so in love with it. It's like so retro. It's so cool. It almost makes me want to get a new one because mine is junk. This one is so cute. It's got like gold, some of the gold knobs here. This is bagel or defrost, and then this little lever thing to push it down, and it's just so cute, I think. Okay, we've got breakfast going here. Every day at my mom's in the morning is usually the same routine. So, um, breakfast, I usually open up. I open up all of her blinds in her house. We'll water her plants over there if needed. We make the bed and on Mondays we switch out her sheets. Then I come over here and this is her CPAP machine, which hopefully she's getting switched to a BiPAP soon. But for now, I take the water container out and we empty this and then let it air dry on her drying rack, which I need to put all these dishes away today because they are overflowing yeah. <laughs> she says yeah we're gonna brush her hair for her today today was a sponge bath day every other day is a shower so i'll probably get the comb out and we'll brush her hair because we have physical therapy coming um i empty out her commode which i won't show you guys that but that's part of the routine and what else am i missing something sometimes laundry wash fold clothes and stuff right yeah. so here's the egg beaters we're just waiting for them to heat up here's our breakfast of champions looks good iced tea is that what you want no Jute. oh yeah your glycera <laughs> i can't say that word her end shore let's see this one looks good. I'll just get her a straw. We just got my mom. Um, this is a new like table setup, and it's cool because it it rotates, so it can come all the way this way, and it it um, lies flat like against the chair kind of. Besides these two little things, but. Um, she can also use this to help her get up if she needed, and it it just works out better, I think. Okay, we're gonna start the wash. We already put detergent in here. My mom has almost no feeling left in her feet, right mom? So um, they're usually cold. <laughs> and you can tell the coloring is a little off, like I just lotioned a little bit this foot. Compared to this foot, it's a little bit like bluer looking. Um, and this is the cream that we've been using on her feet, which seems to help. She's got a little bit of discomfort and pain, especially at night. And um, this is, I don't know if this is going to focus. Go. This is hemp cream. She got it off Amazon. And um, it seems to really help. We've already did a pretty good dent in this one. But so I, I usually take a little bit and massage it onto her feet especially her toes here that really um, don't have much feeling left we we try to move her feet and her toes around and and then we top it off with a sock and that keeps her pretty good for the day so the physical therapist isn't coming until noon and let's see it's almost 11 o'clock right now so I'm gonna go home for an hour and make sure that the kids have eaten breakfast that Amir fed them maybe eat a little breakfast myself and then I'll come back over here at noon um, hopefully get a clip for you guys on what the physical therapist does I think that the physical therapist is here to measure my mom and get her situated for her new wheelchair Maybe, I'm pretty sure. Um, she's gonna get one of those automatic wheelchairs um, in the house eventually soon. So he might measure her for that, but then we've got some questions for him about the shower situation that I mentioned earlier, her getting out of the shower, and what we can do physical therapy wise with her feet to help with circulation and, and pain and make her feel better other than what we're already doing. So 
I'm gonna come back in about an hour, I think. Hi, Zay. You guys doing homeschool? I'm doing tricky yeah. work. Oh, good job, you guys. Oh, well, I'm back home, and we're already on argument 526 this morning between the kids. Amelia wants to play pretend marriage with Isaiah, who is completely not interested in that game whatsoever. So it's a good time. It's a good time. I'm going to use this time to do these dishes. Yay! Dishes. So many dishes. You're going in your own room. Yeah. Are you moving out? Yeah. You're running away? Yeah. Where, where, wait, where's your new home? In the mud room. In the mud room? We can't come in? No. Oh, Zaya wants to move in with you. Peace be with you. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you letting me in to your home? Yeah. Oh. Wow, looks this comfy. Is this your bedroom? Yeah, this is our accessory area. Oh, the accessory area, that's this essential. Is, the bad dog can get in here. Oh, and nobody can get in here? Yeah, yeah. after that long adventure. <laughs> yeah. After that long adventure moving in? Yeah. Oh. We are making the children some gourmet peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because we're all out of turkey and I don't feel like going to the store, obviously. Don't so, forget Cody's outside. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to deliver this to them in their new home. Did somebody order two cappuccinos and a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah. I got an order here from the shelf himself. Careful, careful, don't spill it. Don't hang on, Isaiah. Amelia, I'll take, take it. Two hands, two hands, two hands work Thank together. You. And for myself, for a brunch, I guess, because it's 11.30 right now. I haven't eaten anything for breakfast besides my iced coffee. I'm gonna have three hard boiled eggs and maybe a slice of toast with some of the organic peanut butter because it looked really good when I made the sandwiches. So that's what I'm gonna eat right now. And Cody's gonna get a little bone. You want a bone, Cody? Mmm, yummies. Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Amelia and I are back home and Isaiah I guess fell asleep in our bed taking a little nap so Amelia is going to play with some toys that my mom just gave her in her room there's a big mess in our mud room from when the kids are playing in there earlier that I am ignoring for right now but physical therapy went really good with my mom. They're gonna come back at least once a week for four weeks. And um, 
So I'm gonna take a second to check over some emails and um, then I think I'm gonna hop on my work computer and just check some emails there as well. Even though I only work technically two days a week, I still hop online to check some emails once in a while, so. You, I say I just woke up from a nap and now he, of course, is glued to mom and wants to be in my lap even though I'm technically looking through some work emails right now. So this is life at home with kids and work and everything else going on. So if you guys haven't noticed, my skin is a little more tan than usual. Um, I've been self-tanning my arms and my face because they're pretty much the only spots on my body that um, are visible right now is because because it's still cold outside in Syracuse. But this is the self-tanner that I've been using. I bought it, I think it was a week ago. It's called New Skin. It's just like a tinted, tinted self-tanning gel. And so I've applied it. Um, last night was my second time applying it. So I apply it after I get out of the shower and exfoliate my skin and everything I moisturize my face and then I apply it to my face and I apply it to my arms after I moisturize as well I forgot to wash my hands last night so the palm of my hands look like they're dirty but it's just the self tanner stain but even after I shower it doesn't like rub off blotchy or anything like that and I'm really really loving it you don't need a lot of it it doesn't have a smell to it my friend Sam on um, Facebook and Instagram sold it to me. So if you guys are interested, I can try to ask her um, how you guys could get a hold of her for one of these. But so far, I am completely in love with it. The other questions that I've been getting are with my lip gloss. I bought two new lip glosses at Target last week, I believe. The NYX Butter Gloss, these are my absolute favorite lip glosses. I love wearing lip gloss over lipstick any day. I have pretty much every shade of like light pink to nude colors, they're my favorite. But this is the NYX, I don't know if it's gonna focus. The NYX Butter Gloss, here it is. NYX Butter Gloss and it's in shade, I don't know if you guys can see that. Creme, creme brulee, <laughs> you probably butchered that, creme brulee. And then this is the other one I just got, it's from e.l.f. I'm pretty sure this one was only $3 around there. This is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. Super glossy, um, it's called Wild Rose, and it's by e.l.f. So these are the two that I just added to my nude and light pink collection. Cody's watching Amir drive away with the kids. He took the kids to go pick up our usual Friday fish dinners that my mom buys us, which is really nice of her. We support a local bar here that makes the best fish dinners. So he just took the kids for a little drive and he'll run in and grab it. Um, I also just got Amir and I new nightstands. I've been on the hunt for um, nightstands for Amir and I. I had this one nightstand, but there wasn't a match to it. I tried to find a match to it, and it didn't work out. So I'm going to sell this little nightstand here and get rid of it. And I had this idea, because nightstands are so expensive, just to get the two cube things at Target and then just get a decorative basket and make these our nightstands. And I think it looks pretty cute. This style would actually matches this our TV stand as well. So I just ordered another one for Target curbside for Amir's and I got the same basket for him only they didn't have the white rope underneath so his is black but that's fine it's still the same. Dinner has arrived. The usual fish dinners. Amir just sprinkled a little lemon juice. The kids got a burger and some tater tots that they're splitting. Looks good. And so we meet again. Okay, please ignore the gigantic mess in my bedroom that the kids have made. But um, here's the two nightstands together. I like it so much better, and it was a cheaper option. Yeah, Zaya's climbing up the box, <laughs> being a boy. Cody's getting into everything, and Amelia has used the extra cardboard from the packaging and some parts to make a 
homemade staple machine. Yep. Can you show it them says how it works? A stapler. Oh, this is the staple information? Yep. She's a professional stapler. I made the mistake of laying down and now I'm not sure I can ever get back up. Okay, I just picked up the entire house from these heathens, destroying it while I was relaxing. That's the compromise that happens when you try to relax as a parent. Your house gets destroyed and you know it's just going to be an even bigger mess when it's done and over with. Anyways, Amir is out working right now. Um, he's booking up a couple hours door dashing, um, one of his part-time things that he does. So, Amelia is in the shower right now and as soon as she's out, me and both kids are going over to my mom's to help her get ready for the night, get into bed and all that good stuff. And then it's almost bedtime. It is finally that time of the night. I can crawl into bed and binge watch Netflix. I just got myself some um, of the Lipton green tea and I put a little bit of honey in a mug here. So I'm gonna sip on this and watch Outlander, which I'm still obsessed with. And take off my makeup here in a second and just relax. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then um, the kids just took a little bit longer tonight to get down to bed. They both ended up in Amelia's room, and Amir is still out working right now. So I've got Cody who just hopped up on the bed to lay with me. Oh, buddy. And I'm gonna call it a night here because I'm exhausted. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope everyone is safe and well. I know that it seems like the days are dragging on at this point. Um, it's getting harder to entertain the kids and just keep them occupied with stuff. And um, I feel like I'm just like out of ideas and energy, honestly. So I think all of us are just taking it day by day and the days seem to go by slow and fast at the same time. It's like this really weird thing. So I hope everyone is doing okay and I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and um, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Bye guys. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I